Good morning on this sort of dreary Sunday. Today is the New York City Marathon. And I don't have anybody really to go cheer on, but I was posting a picture to Instagram and I see that Casey Neistat is running the marathon and he posted his bib number. So the marathon has an app where you can put in the bib number of a runner, ideally one of your family members or friends, and you can track them at uh, each 5K increment. So I'm gonna do some little, a little stalking of Casey Neistat and go cheer him on. But before I do some stalking, I better uh, fuel up with some breakfast. Now that I've had some breakfast, a delicious New York bagel, uh, I'm making my plan of where I'm gonna try to catch Casey. So I've got the map up here on the, uh, the app. Let's take a look. So according to the map, this is where he's at, just short of mile four. He's gotta run all the way through Brooklyn here, and then up into Queens. So I live in Queens, not too far away from here. So I think I'm gonna try to catch him right around here before they go onto the bridge, and then take some public transit up to this area right here, near Central Park, try to catch him again. I'm maybe about five minutes away from where I, I want to set up shop to try to catch Casey. Uh, he is about halfway there from where he started. Um, so I'm gonna take a pit stop here at the uh, Socrates Sculpture Garden, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It is a beautiful garden full of sculptures. Let's look around. to the hunt. That sounds really bad. It's not a hunt. Back to finding Casey Neistat so we can cheer him on through the marathon. That's better, right? It's not as creepy. I need to speed it up a little bit because I am up here somewhere very close to the bridge but Casey is also very close mile 13 about halfway it's only two miles mile and a half away from where I'm gonna post up let's get going the marathoners are crossing this bridge over there to Manhattan so I just have to get to the end here where they enter it's like a block up so I should be good I'm on the wrong side of the bridge <laughs> Good exercise for me. <sighs> yeah, Casey! Woo! All right, I caught him, as you saw. Uh, now on to the next spot, uh, which is near Central Park. I think I've got a little while to go, but I can't underestimate his quickness like I did last time. I was close. I'm about here at mile 23. Looks like he's on the opposite side. He's still gotta cross up into the Bronx and back down. But I'm next to Central Park, so I'm just gonna hang out over there. Look at this. Oh my God, Central Park is so beautiful. As I mentioned two videos ago when I came to explore Central Park for uh, the autumn colors and the leaves changing, I don't make it up this far into the park that often. And I really should. I always go down to the south end because it's easier to get to, but it's also the more touristy part. And there's lots of cool stuff down there, but man, this area of the park is really beautiful. And there's not as many people up here. So I should come up here more often. I'm gonna do that. But I found a giant rock. I'm gonna hang out on the top for a bit and just chill. So I was just looking at a Snapchat I posted earlier. Today is the New York City Marathon. And I realized 
to uh, I have something stuck in between my teeth. That I don't know. And it's Look at that. I have a piece of pepper or something stuck in between my teeth. I've been vlogging all day. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. That's all right. Happens. It happens to the best of us. Oh yeah, it is definitely much busier than it was earlier. Uh, three more miles and it'll be done, which is going to be in no time, I'm sure. Congratulations, Casey. I think this is your 320th marathon or something like that. I'm exaggerating, obviously, but Casey and I said has run a lot of marathons. Uh, for those of you wondering why I am quote unquote stalking Casey, uh, I just thought it'd be a fun thing to do today. I uh, wanted to come see the marathon anyway, so this gave me a reason to do so. Also, Casey Neistat is a huge inspiration of mine. I know a lot of people say that, but he is probably one of the biggest factors uh, and, and reasons to why I finally moved to New York City. Um, so I hope to like actually meet him someday uh, and you know shake his hand and, and get to talk to him. But marathon's been awesome. I am heading home now because I need to go get some exercise. And then later tonight, I'm going to a dinner party at my friend John's house. Also. I almost forgot, and almost most importantly, today is November 1st. It's the start of November. So all of this, all this facial hair that I'm used to and that you're used to is gonna be gone. I'm shaving it off tonight. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. So stick around for that. <laughs> this is probably, it's probably the best place to cross. Gotta find an opening. Three, two, one. Thank you. It's always the most difficult part about a marathon. Well, except for actually running the marathon. That's a little bit more difficult. I don't have enough time to go to the gym, so it's my go-to uh, quick workout. Push-ups and jump roping out here in front of my, my apartment. <laughs> Short, but good. All right, I mentioned it earlier. This is the start of Movember. For those of you that don't know um, anything about November, it is uh, a month, it's November, it's all, all November, where uh, men shave their face completely, they're supposed to, and then grow out a mustache um, to raise awareness for men's health issues. Because, you know, men are uh, stubborn and they don't uh, like to think about that stuff or, you know, go get that stuff checked out. So this year I'm participating in Movember with uh, other people uh, from work and uh, trying to raise money uh, to, to help out um, this awareness. Anyway, uh, I'll leave a link below. My personal website is mobro.co slash checkoutjacob. So again, I'll flash it on the screen, you know, like here and put it down below. But if you feel like donating, even if it's just a dollar, um, you know, check it out. You can also follow my progress throughout the month. I'm gonna be shaving everything and then growing a mustache back. I don't, I can't remember the last time I've had a bare face, so let's just get into it. Let's do some fun stuff first. Three Musketeer. I don't know what this one is. Stash and, stash and soul patch. Gone. Now let's play with the mustache a little bit. This is what I like to call the John Waters. All right, the last little bits. This is me now for the next month. Get used to it. Oh, this is weird. Face is cold. Today started out as a dreary day, but look at that sky now. Wow. All right. My face is really cold right now. I'm exaggerating. It's not really cold, but it's a little chilly. Uh, heading out to Far Queens to my friend John's house. He's throwing a little dinner party. So I'm excited about this. Looking forward to eating some of his cooking and just hanging out with friends and chatting. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, what the? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm glad I got that reaction for it. Bye. 
Bye. Awesome dinner. Thank you. Well, that was a delicious dinner. Thank you very much, John. It was excellent, and it, I had a great time hanging out and talking with friends. Today's been a good day. I'm really glad you guys could join me. Again, congratulations, Casey Neistat, if you're watching. Hopefully you are. Um, if you guys don't know who Casey Neistat is, what have you been doing? But check him out. He is a filmmaker from here in NYC, and he's amazing. And this year he started daily vlogging and changed the game. Completely changed the game. So check him out if you, if you don't know who he is. As always, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Usually I say bear pods. <laughs> yeah, it's a semi-increase. <laughs> <laughs>